Now I've come to parts of the hall that many of you won't recognise. But I've come to this part, which will be, in future days, um, a prayer corner. But I've come today to focus on this cross. This cross is covered in the scriptures of the New and of the Old Testament, which come together in the death of Jesus on the cross. And it's Saul, for him, a new start, for him, a new way, a new direction, because Saul, the learned Jew, had come to experience Jesus, the Messiah, the same Jesus who the Jews sent to the cross. That Jesus was the Messiah. That Jesus was the person who brought the Old Testament to life. And on the Damascus Road, Paul realised that when he met with Jesus. Transformation. Paul was transformed. Transformed from a man who was determined to destroy this new faith that the people of the way had. And now he was a man who was determined with all his strength and with all his life to tell the world that this Jesus who was crucified was indeed the Messiah, was indeed the person, the God who became man, the Son of Man, who would bring salvation not only to the Jews, but to the Gentiles. Paul, as soon as he'd been healed from his blindness and regained his strength, wanted to be out there. He was at the synagogue. He was in the courtyards, in the marketplace. Paul was not afraid. Paul was out there for the gospel. And he would, didn't care who he told. And soon he got into trouble with the very people that he was aligned to. Because they saw him now as an antagonist, as the opposition, as their enemy. But Paul didn't care. Paul kept on preaching this good news about Jesus. But it's quite strange because the very people that Saul was coming to destroy were now the people who were to accept him as one of them. It's a hard call. Do they trust him? Do they know that he has indeed been converted, been transformed? There was a lot of suspicion, a lot of fear, because people thought that this was a ploy to get to the heart of the new Christian way. You know, it's easy when people come into our community. It's easy for us to be suspicious of them. It's easy for us to be standoffish. It's easy for us to forget that word transformation, to forget that we are a church who believe in transformation. If you read in the history book that we have in the cabinet over the corner, you will read story after story 
of people who were transformed here in this place. And we want this place to be a place of transformation. We want to be a church that welcomes, that shares, that serves, that builds relationships with everyone who comes to join. Transformation is a very, very important part of our values. We believe in transformation. We believe that the alcoholic can be free. We believe that the drug addict can be clean. We believe that the thief can be forgiven. We believe, yeah, we believe in transformation because that's the heart of the gospel. And that's the message that I want to give from our two weeks with Saul. We believe in transformation. 